Here's something people on July 1st, 70 years ago, near the end of World War II, or even after World War I, would find hard to believe. In 2014, there are still empires, while truly independent nations can be hard to find. Empires were supposed to be the wave of the past, not the future. Yet, there are clear signs of a new Russian imperial mentality, and the American empire extends everywhere. They don't plant colonies, but they send armies and exact tribute. China is rising like a giant. In the Mideast, Iran spreads its influence like ancient Persia. Uh, Islamists like ISIS want to recreate the caliphate, which was part of the Ottoman Empire. But independent nations? Take Ukraine. Some want to shelter with the US, others with Russia. Even Canada is reviving the old British imperial symbols, including military ranks like Fusilier. Maybe we shouldn't be surprised. History itself has been largely equivalent to empires. There was a period uh, when independent nations and bodies like the UN looked like they'd replace empires, but it never quite happened. We got stuck in mid-gesture. Empires. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Not yet, anyway. Maybe someday. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Sluton.